got the thimble hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do another review on another kit that Derek found. It's always so good at finding cool things on Amazon. So again, another Amazon kit. But this one is, I have to look it up here, from Hearth and Harbor, from the Hearth and Harbor store. And there are 78 pieces in this box. It is a crochet kit. Create beautiful handmade crochet projects. On this side it says, create your own unique patterns and designs. It comes with yarn and hooks and a pouch for your accessories, markers, safety pins, stitch holders, a scissors, tape measure, row counter, and sewing needles, and tote bag. But let's see what's really inside. I'm uh, going to do this. This is our opening. I have not been in here yet. I haven't fiddled with it at all. So I am cutting this open very gently. And now let's see what's inside. Got a little bit of a glare, but I don't think that's going to last for too long. Now we're going to start playing. Ooh, look at all the fun stuff in here. Yay! Oh, wow. Oh, my. Okay, I'm going to move this over here and start with this. Oh, look at all this yarn. Oh, this is a great little kit so far. Look at all the colors. Looks like we get 15. 15 different tiny ones. 100 yards. That's cool. 50 grams, 100 yards, 91, 91 meters. Heather blue, red, ivory, green, baby blue, royal blue, purple, black, charcoal, gray, berry, coral, orange, pink, brown, and yellow. Well, that's fun. This is a cute little kit all those things that people will go, oh, this is so much fun. You could start right out making something. That's fun. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, fun. We get a little tote bag so we don't have to carry around a big box. Stitch with Love. Oh, Stitch with Love from Hearth and Harbor. That'll hold stuff. Nice little canvas bag. Cool. I like it. That's nice. That's very handy. And a lot of kits don't come with things like that. So that is a bonus. We're going to set him aside. And now here's the big stuff. What comes in the box? Comes with the travel box. Bonus brownie points for sure. So let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, yay. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. All right, let's try to get these out. There's a lot of stuff in this box. So here's a typical ergonomic hooks. Three, six, seven, eight. These are nice. Just at first feel. I'm gonna move these over to my other hand. Nice, they have a flat spot for my thumb. And if you, if you hold pencil, there's a flat spot on both sides and engraved right into the rubber grip is the measurements. Yay, this is a 5.5 millimeter. It says it right there. So we have a five, there's a six, a two and a half, a three and a half. Yeah, the usual suspects. Goes from a two up to a six. Awesome. So these are the ones that most people consider their go-to sizes. Let's give them a quick measure pick one randomly. I'm going to take this blue one. It's a four millimeter hook. Let's see. Four millimeter. La 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 la. Right there. And it works. Awesome. Check the purple one. That's a five millimeter. Yay. And I like to check this tiny one. The two and a half. Oh, perfect. Wow, okay, that's a nice little set of ergonomic hooks. Bam, what's in the next one? We've got all kinds, we got, now we have the aluminum hook set. Oof, hard to get those tiny ones out. Oh, I missed one. Look, oh, I missed one. There's the two millimeter. And he's perfect size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ergonomic hooks. Nice. 
that's nice. And now what we got here? Our aluminum hooks, which are pretty typical standard hooks. It's a great place to start. Three, six, nine, twelve. Look at all those little, all of these aluminum hooks. Start with the two, the itsy bitsy one. Oh, there's even a seven. Nice. A two, a two and a half. This is the three. A three. A three and a half. A four millimeter. A four and a half millimeter. A five millimeter. Five and a half. A six. A six and a half. A seven, which is not typical. And an eight. Wow. Nice. So most of the sizes, again, that people consider go-to sizes, and these one, this one has bigger, two bigger ones, so you can start working with some five or six weight, some bulky or super bulky. Very, very nice. This is how I started, was with using these, and this a green, no, oh, that's cute. This four millimeter hook, this, this shade of green, was always my favorite hook. So that's really special that that was in my kit. Oh, that's so nice. So awesome. Let's measure. Let's see. Let's measure my favorite hook here. This little green one. He's a four millimeter hook. Let's see how close we are. Four millimeter is right there. It's a G hook. Perfect. Pick another one randomly. What are you? Five and a half. Very nice. Let's do the big one. That's an eight millimeter. So we have to turn the corner. My L hook. Perfect. All right. Yay! So far, so good. And a little snipper. Very nice little scissors. Let's get rid of this noisy stuff. I hate this noisy, noisy plastic. It's a little snipper. It's a scissors. But instead of having the pointy end out all the time, it has a safety, a little safety lid on it, and it works just like that. But it has a safety lid on it so you can carry it around in your with your work and not get poked. And it's yellow. Okay, we've got some stitch markers. Probably ten in here. Little stitch markers. And these are still very handy, but I consider these to be knitting stitch markers but I do use them occasionally they just don't have they just don't lock so I like the ones that lock together lock closed since they're going through a stitch I like them to lock in place so I don't lose my spot but these are still very handy also I consider those a knitting product but there is a time and a place for everything again with these little guys these are tips tip covers. I consider those a Gabby present because they are for knitting needles, but some people do put them on there. I'm not sure exactly why, because these are usually not sharp. Perhaps you could use these on tiny steel ones that are kind of sharp. They're really tiny, like the 0.6 and 0.7 that are so tiny and they might be sharp. But that's not a bad thing. Those will be going to Gabby. Yay, six new needles. Oh, I gotta have needles. These, the orange ones have really big eyes. And these ones that are kind of a neon yellow green here, they're much narrower. So we have two different sizes. The orange ones are huge. Those are really big. For weaving in ends, gotta have needles. Can't have too many needles around. And, oh, yay, this is always a bonus to come in with a pack. Got to have a measuring tape. And it's 60 inches long. And see, it has inches on this side. Let's see. Yay, and centimeter, centimeters slash millimeters on the other side. Very cool. That's nice. And here's a, I always call these clickers, but this is a stitch counter. 
Generally, I give these to Gabby too because they're tiny. I use those for knitting needles. They don't necessarily stay on crochet hooks very well. See? But they would still be very usable if this is the only one that you have that works just fine. Just keep it sitting next to you. That's cool. Bigger one is a little bit easier to read, of course. Just as easy as having a clicker like this to just spin. Very nice. Here's a little thimble. If you are so inclined as to wear that over your fingers so you don't get any kind of a like yarn burn or anything, it would fit my baby finger. And that's a size 4 ring, so I guess that's a size 4. It's tiny. Wear it at the top of this finger. That's neat. And then these little guys. So you can take this box. These are just little walls here. So you can take this box and turn it into whatever you want. Let's see if I get one of them in. Oh, I have two. That's why it wasn't working. Right here. Slide these in so you can use this box for anything that you want. Make up all kinds of tiny little spots. Nifty! I'm going to leave it the way it is. But this is kind of neat. Multifunctional box. You can use it for whatever you want that way. That's very neat. Wow! 73 pieces. I guess so. There's a lot in here. This is super fun. Did all our measuring. We got true to size. I'm not measuring all of them, but I'm going to say yes that they're going to be true to size. And it's all in this handy dandy little case. What a great little set. And this is considered the large set. There's also a small set that I believe was $28, but this one was $31. Why would you not just give them an extra $4 and get 30 more pieces? This is amazing. This is so giftable, guys. This would be perfect. I'm going to pack this guy up. I wonder who I'm going to give this to. This would be totally wonderful, giftable for a new crocheter in your life. Or I think this would be even fun to get for me. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.